Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Again, we are going to have the most important part of our retreat, Holy Mass. Closing our eyes, keeping the hand on the chest. Think of this great privilege given to us by the Lord to have the Calvary experience, the sacrifice of Calvary reenacted. We are privileged to be under his cross as Mary, Mary Magdala, John stood. Let's stand on Calvary, asking for all blessings to offer ourselves as victims with, him, with Jesus, to him, with him, and in him. <coughs> Look at Mary, Mama, praying for us at the foot of the cross. Let's offer all our prayers to her. Prayers especially to be holy as our Lord is holy. To be perfect as Heavenly Father is perfect. Father, we have come together to offer this Mass. We are unworthy to stand here at the foot of the cross. Unworthy to be at the Last Supper with the portions. To receive the body and death. But we dare to stand here because you took away our sins and you have done penance for us on the cross and you have opened the heavens for us and we have salvation. We are saved. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing. I join my heart with all the priests here around me and all the priests on earth and in heaven to offer this mass. Sanctify our priest to God. Sanctify the priesthood of the laity who are around us. Yes, they are a priestly nation, holy nation, God's own people. We offer the Mass together with them, Lord. They are exercising their priesthood. Lord, send the Holy Spirit and sanctify all of us. Mary Mama, good mother, pray for us. Pray for all our intentions. Pray for our families. Pray for more vocations to priesthood. We need more priests in England. We need more priests all over the world. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Putting our hands on the chest today, examine our consciences, ask pardon even for the minute touch to sin, maybe a thought against love. Uncharitable thought, maybe a judgment, maybe a word speaking or criticizing someone negatively. Maybe a deed we have done. Let's ask God's mercy and pardon. He's a merciful Lord who took away our sins. Let's put all our trust and ask for mercy. <coughs>
God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. mystery of you loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new to the wonder of rebirth may you preserve the gifts of your angel amen of your enduring grace and blessing to our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen. <laughs> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
Paul and his friends went by sea from Campos to Pergia in Pamphylia, where John had left them to go back to Jerusalem. The others carried on from Persia till they reached Antioch in Pisidia. Here they went to the synagogue on the Sabbath and took their seats. After the lessons from the law and the prophets had been read, the presidents of the synagogue sent out this message. Brothers, if you would like to address some words of encouragement to the congregation, please do so. Paul stood up, held up a hand for silence, and began to speak. Men of Israel, in fears of God, listen. The God of our nation Israel chose our ancestors and made our people great when they were living as foreigners in Egypt. Then, by divine power, he led them out living for about 40 years, taking care of them in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in Canaan, he put them in possession of their land for about 450 years. After this, he gave them judges, down from the prophet Samuel. Then they demanded a king. And God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin. After 40 years, he deposed him and made David their king, for whom he approved in these words, I have selected David, son of Jesse, man after my own heart, who will carry out my whole purpose to keep his promise, God has raised up from Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus, a Savior, whose coming was heralded by John when he proclaimed a baptism of repentance for the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine me to be. The one coming after me, and I am not fit to untie his sandal. The word of the Lord. Our responsible song. I will sing forever of your love, O oh Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O oh Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O oh Lord. Through all, the, through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. I will sing forever of your love, O oh Lord. I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. I will sing forever of your love, O oh Lord. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name, his might shall be exalted. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Please stand for possible acclamation.
the firstborn from the dead. You have loved us and have washed away our sins with your blood. Speaking about all of you, I know the ones I have chosen, but what scripture says must be fulfilled. Someone who shares my table rebels against me. I tell you this now, before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am He. I tell you most solemnly, whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. He who sees me sees my father. And he said clearly today, he who accepts me accepts my father. So in Jesus we see the face of father, the mercy of father, love of God the father, and we experience the sonship of the father in Jesus Christ to the Holy Spirit. We are blessed as Christians. We are blessed. All we shall thank God and praise God for being a Christian, being a Catholic. I was speaking to you about inner healing and physical healing, much more about new life. In the year 2000, I was in Bombay airport to go to Saudi Arabia for evangelizing the Muslims. My flight was to Riyadh. Whenever I was going to the Gulf, to the Muslims, and my own anxiety, fear, nervousness. <laughs> I was at the immigration with my passport and my letters, etc. Just in front of me, there was an interesting episode. The young white man, about 20 or 22, dressed as an Indian with a dhoti and with a shawl and a lot of tattoos on the body. And uh, half of his hair was shaved, half hanging down like a uh, big tail. <laughs> and I heard him talking violently with the police in the immigration. I just listened. I was asking, you are Indian Polish? Don't you have faith in God? I believe in God. Why you Indians, you don't have faith? Then the police were shouting. Throw away those creatures, throw away those creatures. Then I show a small snake around his neck and a mouse in the hand. He wanted to go in the flight with these two gods. <laughs> <laughs> so he was fighting and he was telling, I need a ticket. I'll pay for the ticket for this, my gods. Why don't you allow me to go? You can imagine the, how what would be the reaction of the police. And get out, get out, you're shouting, throw away, throw away. I felt really ashamed of that boy 
I was just behind. And I thought to myself, what I could do at that time. The Spirit told me to pray for him. That's all I could do. <laughs> and many people in that big queue, long queue, you know, in the that in the that port always the big queue for immigration. They were all shouting, throw that boy out, throw that boy out. I was praying in tongues, not loud. If I would pray loud, but as I would be ended up ending up my life in the psychiatric ward. <laughs> so I prayed in tongues in spirit. It's a beautiful watch. Thank you, Lord. I can tell you honestly. Whenever I prayed in tongues, in the spirit, always the Lord came with the help. The Holy Spirit came to my help. What we read in Romans chapter 8, 26 is very true. In all your weaknesses, He comes to strengthen. Hallelujah. Amen. He helped me with a vision. He just revealed the identity of this young man. Joseph, a German, a Catholic. This is what I show written on a piece of white paper. With much love, I put my hand on his shoulder and said, My son, you are a German Catholic with the name Joseph. What a shame you are holding two creatures and saying, They are your boss. He was just shocked, wonderstruck. Looked at me. Who told you I am Joseph? Who told you I am a German Catholic? I was saying, I'm going to Saudi Arabia, you know, go with a cross like this, a crucifix like this. At the same time, uh, under the belt, I had a small crucifix, uh, a small in size, you know, usually at the end of the rosary, a small one. Now we, can, we cannot go like that. Uh, they check the belt. <laughs> so, uh, so I took the small cross and said, My son, this is your God and my God who rock his heart for us, for our salvation. You are a Catholic. The Holy Spirit told me that you are a Catholic. It's my God who revealed that you are a Catholic boy, a German. Immediately, shedding tears, he asked me, Why do you call me my son? Three times you call me my son. And I said, You are my son, really. I gave a hug. Because you are a baptized Christian. You are baptized by a priest whom I don't know. You were able to call God, Abba, Father, through that priest, through that baptism. That's why we call priest father. None of the priests are our fathers, no. They became God's children through the priest, so he's our father. So in the name, on behalf of that priest, I call him my son. He had to me, Papa, he told me. Can you tell all about this God to me? I said, yes, my son. Throw these two creatures in the dustbin and come with me. <laughs> Immediately he took out the snake and the mouse and put it in the dustbin. Police said, thank you, Father. <laughs> and people really clapped hands. Police were trying, you know, the two police were trying to level us to throw them out, but could not succeed. When I gave a little laugh, he it was able to obey me. And in the flight, the whole time, three hours time, I was speaking to him about Jesus. He was a Catholic. But unfortunate, he lost the love of the father because he went away from the mother. Mother married a Muslim. And then they had a very hard life. This boy was sexually abused by the stepfather. Story goes like this. He had his first communion. He was even serving the altar. He was an altar boy. And several people abused him sexually. He became mentally ill almost, depressed. He had been to many psychiatrists and doctors. And at the end, someone told go to India to ask from some gurus to get peace and healing. So already he was with a guru in uh, uh, Frankfurt and afterwards decided to go to India for six months. So with the six months visa, uh, he wanted to, uh, what you call, uh, an experience there. He said, I went to Ganges, I had a shower and bath. And I had been to many temples everywhere, but I was depressed, I was sad. I never had an experience of love or peace. And now at the end, my Guruji told, you go back to Germany with the two gods and worship. It was Nain and the Mars. <laughs> and he was holding that. That was his story in natural, in short. It's a long story. Poor boy. And when I called him, my son, that touched his heart. He never had the experience of the love of a father. Uh, and from that time, and then 
in the, uh, from the airport, we went to the hotel where I was staying. In the hotel, I had the mass with about 50, 55 Muslims, Muslim believers, not converted. <laughs> Joseph was the only Catholic who could assist by mass fully. After the Holy Mass, uh, after communion, I laid my hands on him and prayed for the Holy Spirit. He was shedding tears, calling me, Papa James. I, I met him. I, I received what I was searching for. I, 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 I never leave him. I would live and die for him. Papa James. That was his voice. Shivering, embracing me. And from that moment, he became my disciple in the sense, whenever I was going to Muslim countries for evangelization, he was my right hand. Helping me, organizing program in the desert, and finding a proper people, security, uh, to keep the program secure, etc. He was very smart, very active, uh, till before one year and three months. He was conducting a prayer group in Iraq with the Muslim believers and seven of them were caught by the ISIS and asked them to renounce Jesus and accept Allah and Muhammad. And my son, as I used to call him, my son always, my son Joseph said, I will never abandon my Jesus. I'm ready to die for him. And they cut the hands and he said, the hands that are cut will cry out, Jesus is Lord. They cut the legs, the feet, and he said the same. My feet will cry out, Jesus is Lord. You can imagine they were angry. They cut the tongue, at the end cut the head. I tell you know, only after six weeks when the members, one of the members in the group wrote to me a story. I just thinking of him, I always think of my son, Joseph. This is what we call new life. Hallelujah. <laughs> One who lost faith in God, in church, in Christ, going with the Hinduism and accepting snake and mouse as God, got conversion for liberation, change, gave the life fully to Jesus the Lord, even to the extent of dying for Jesus. Yes, it's a heroic life that he led. And you know, for me as an Indian, it's not so difficult to go to the Gulf countries because there are so many Indian, Pakistani, short people in the Gulf countries. But for a white man to evangelize, not that easy, always under suspicion. And he was arrested many times, he was beaten up many times uh, by the Muslims. But he suffered all that for the Lord's sake. And always he used to say, Father Je Papa James, I will die here in the Gulf. I said, no, you will die in Germany. I used to say that. Even once, you know, I used to collect money from all the rituals in the West, in the Europe, to make Bibles and many items for, and also for my trips, expensive trips and paying to security, a lot of expenses were made. And the, the people in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, all were generous for helping my mission. Uh, and many priests supported, many bishops supported my mission. Although they were warning, be careful about your life. But uh, for me also, I never had. I always remember the words of St. John for a second. Be ready to die in the Gulf. Be ready to shed blood in the Gulf. That was an encouragement for me. That was a blessing for me, a thrill for me to go. Yeah, thrill for me. I never got frightened about all these things. And I can tell you very honestly, uh, St. Joseph was a power. Uh, oh, Father James, Father James, Papa James, Papa James, always used to call me Papa James and coming with me everywhere. When I heard about his death, I really missed him. But I am not missed him, I know he's in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Real martyrdom. Uh, and I was always a reflect, what a new life. You was a firebrand in the hand of Jesus, firebrand. That's what he should be. That's what, uh, uh, I mean, it's a wife, uh, DG was telling, mm -hmm. one, uh, two, Second Timothy chapter one, about six and seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Energize or uh, enlighten or eleven or set into fire the spirit that you receive by the laying of the hands. Hallelujah. 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 And then the spirit that you are received is a spirit of boldness and power and wisdom. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Never forget that. That's what you see in my vision. But as by our sinful life, our life in darkness, we lost that power. We lost that fire. Yes, a Christian should be a fiery man and woman. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not saying nya 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 nya. If I have time, I pray. If I have time, I go for Sunday mass. I have no time, I have my work, my children. Go on, so many excuses, excuses. So much of compromises, compromises. No, look at Jesus, an uncompromising man. In this God man, Jesus, we are following. Hallelujah. 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 And we see the stories of many martyrs in the first centuries, now much more. As uh, uh, Pope Francis said, the most persecuted religion is Christianity. Uh, at every hour, people are being beheaded. beheaded. You know, last year alone, 2016, 100,000 Christians were beheaded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Recently, I was reading the story what happened in Pakistan. Uh, after school, four Christian children at the age of uh, eight uh, were coming, and the ISIS stopped. And, Ask, do you renounce Jesus and say, Allah is God? All the four children said, We love Jesus. And they beheaded the children. Hallelujah. Yes, it is happening. Yes. Ask ourselves, when such situation comes, what will be our attitude? You may say, Oh, I'm a children, my God. I should not allow to be beheaded. I am the breadwinner. <laughs> oh, you have many, many excuses when such a circumstance happened. I heard a Catholic was arrested somewhere in the Gulf countries recently. It was in the newspaper and was thrown in the prison simply with a, what you call accusation carrying some uh, what you call uh, arachnid suspected as uh, some ducks. And he was punished, uh, he was condemned for uh, life. Uh, and uh, the judge said, if you accept, Allah asks your God and renounce your Christianity, you will be let free. And the man said, yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Still he has to pay some five thousand dollars at all. It was in the newspaper. Mm. And you know, even Lahore in Pakistan, uh, the 24 Christians were suspected of the death of a Muslim mm. in the jail. The judge asked to renounce Christianity and accept Allah and Muhammad. All the 24 said, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all in the newspaper. You have read? I read it. Yes, I see. So many thousands came to believe in the Lord through my work of evangelization, baptized in the Holy Spirit. I heard about 36 people being beheaded. And some others, uh, hand cut, legs were cut, uh, the uh, tongues cut, etc. But not a, one single story of renouncing Jesus. Not a single story. I'm correspondence with them. Even now I'm eager to go there, but you know, my friends would not allow. If uh, my friends would allow, even now I'm ready to go to the Gulf and to meet them. Actually, I desire to go there. You know, ever since I was baptized in the Holy Spirit, I heard the sound on Calvary. I thirst. That is ringing always in my heart. I thirst. Yes. That is my thirst. I took Jesus' thirst as my thirst. That's why, in spite of pain and illness, I'm here with you, or I go around, and I thirst for this Muslim source. I ask myself, ask leaders of the Catholic Church or Christian Church, how many have evangelized the Muslims? We always hate them, fight with them, bomb them, uh, and fight um, from the time to say, or from the beginning of uh, what you call uh, Islam. But have you ever tried to evangelize them effectively? No. We try to evangelize Buddhists or Hindus, never evangelize effectively the Muslims. If we had done that, perhaps the present crisis should not have happened. We never effectively evangelize the Muslims. You must know they have much closeness with the Christianity. And they themselves say, we religions are of the same book. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of course, not the same book. We can say similar book. <laughs> I would not say same. Bible is not same as Quran. No, never. Mm. But similar. That means there are connection. These three religions, Judaism, 
Islam and Christianity. Hallelujah. Reveal the religion, sir. But more fight between now Christianity and Islam. Let us pray. Let us pray that there will be effective evangelization among them rather than confronting them with the weapons. Hallelujah. Amen. One of the greatest mistakes the West have done, we were confronting Muslims with the weapons. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of the great fear. Now what happens? They are going to overcome Christians. Overcome the Christian world. Uh, so again, let's think of evangelizing them. We can. My own simple what I call example. This is my humble what I call sharing with you, my children. Uh, nobody told me, my provincial or my uh, bishops or pope never told me to go to the Muslims. My Lord told, it is an individual initiative, a personal initiative, an inspiration from the Lord. And I told you yesterday, over 900,000 Muslims came to know Jesus and accepted Jesus as Lord. If you know the way of my retreat, you know, uh, after hearing about Jesus the Lord, they repent and they cry over their sins. And I Pray for the forgiveness of sins, not absolution. Don't misunderstand me. Uh, I am allowed to pray for the forgiveness of anyone's sins. Uh, I can give absolution only to Catholic channel. Hallelujah. Uh, but I can pray for the forgiveness of anyone's sin. So I pray for the forgiveness of their sin. I lay a hand and pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. I see some of them receiving Holy Spirit with more power than the so-called Catholics. Hallelujah. Amen. And with the power as uh, Joseph or many others, uh, uh, they are going around and telling other Muslims about Jesus and having Bible always with them, praying, personal prayer. And all of them have a, 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 a tape of the Holy Mass in Arabic. They listen to that. And they cannot receive Holy Communion because they are not baptized in the Catholic Church in water. So they receive whole spiritual communion. Hallelujah. Amen. And such a practice they have in that. Now some of them of course go to church. Uh, and many of them got baptized from other priests, other Catholic priests who went from Kerala, from India. I know. And uh, a few of them went to the Protestants or Pentecostals. Uh, because uh, I was not going for four years. And they were like a sheep without shepherd. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel sad about them uh, because of all that happened. But I'm telling you, if we Catholics or Christians uh, effectively evangelize the Muslims, uh, surely they will come to believe that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, easier to bring them to the Lord than any pagan religions, I tell you honestly. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I'm not telling about Muslims now. I'm telling about what you call becoming a new creature. Uh, whoever is in Christ Jesus is a new creature. Old is gone, new is come. So, my children, let us have a new life today with this Holy Mass and with the prayer of inner healing, with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Perhaps a few can come to the microphone and share some prayers or petitions for general intentions. <laughs> It'd be nice. Anyone is free to come to the microphone here on the ample. And make a prayer for eternal intentions. Lord, I pray for the same cause about which I was speaking to my children. That the leaders of the churches, Catholic, Protestants, or Orthodox, may think of evangelizing the Muslims rather than going against them and fighting with them. And thus the Muslim world may be one for the kingdom of Jesus. We pray to you, O Lord. Abba Father, we thank you for the beautiful testimony. What is the we thank you for the gift of Father Ma James Manuel and his commitment and zeal for your gospel. Holy Father, we ask your forgiveness. There are times we become lukewarm. We were afraid to say Jesus is Lord. Lord, through this new life, Christian conference, we ask of your Holy Spirit to come upon us so powerfully so that we may become true, authentic Christians to spread your love through our words, through our actions. 
Our Lord, we ask you to have the great grace to have a consecrated life to do everything for our own holiness. Lord, in your mercy. Yes, Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, we pray for every teenagers and youth of this country and of the entire world. Lord, we pray for those children who do not have anybody to share the love of Jesus. Lord, we pray for every parent to, to anoint them, to share, or to show the love of Jesus, the show, to show the blood which shed on the Calvary. Lord, we also pray for everyone in this hall now. Anoint them to spread the good news to the entire world, especially to children and youth. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Heavenly Father, in the life-giving word you give us, us Baruch Abba B'Shem Adonai, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless and we pray and we intercede for this mission for Father James and all co-workers who are so passionate and full of zeal for your life-giving gospel for the eternal gospel, to introduce the love story of Jesus to the whole world. Father, we don't leave it to them alone. Let every church that calls upon the name of God, let every priest, let every religious sisters and brothers, and every baptized Christian be filled with that zeal of the gospel, like Paul Peter, like St. Francis of Xavier and St. Antonio of Padua, they wanted to die for the gospel in days when there was no enough transportation. Today, help the young people, help the priests and the sisters on our iPhones, iPods, i telephones. This, this. We share the love of Jesus to everyone, that the world may set free. We are afraid of consumerism. We are afraid of people leaving the church because we are sleeping, Father. Make us awake that we can work day and night for the eternal gospel. That we can reach to our neighbor, talk to them about the love of Jesus. Give testimonies which we heard here and in our own life. Take away the cloud of fear. Take away the sleepiness from us. Make us awake. Let us walk and talk about Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Without Jesus, the world will be going into domination and condemnation, into division and racism and sexism. Jesus is the one who set us free. He said the truth will set you free, and Jesus is the truth. For this we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you and praise you for this beautiful day. Thank you and praise you for Father James and Father Soji and all the priests gathered here and all the people. Especially Lord Jesus, we surrender all the families and your feet through the, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We thank you for our families, Lord Jesus. We especially pray for the broken families, families facing problems to give to forgiveness those who are living separated. We pray for each and every family of this country and all over the world and our families. Also, we pray for vocations. Lord Jesus, thank you for our Francis, Pope Francis and all the cardinals, archbishops, bishops and all priests. And we pray for vocations, especially we pray for our priests living holiness according to God's will. And we pray the families to be the praise for the, like John Bosco says, the priest is a blessing of the family. We pray each and every family to have the 
pray for the priests, the war vocations, and these countries, especially the lack of masses and the closing of the church to be to be terminated and to be filled with the churches with people, filled with the people and the priests, no lack of priests, Amen. Amen. Now let's pray in silence. For all our needs, let's pray for a universal church, for sanctity and unity in the church. Let's pray for our own families, as Madame was praying. Let's bring the problems of the families to the Lord. Let's pray for the unborn babies in the marriage school, that no lady may ever think of abortion. Let's have a world free of abortions, merciless killing. Let's pray that we may have families without divorce and separation. Let's pray that we may have more children. Let's pray for Christianity as a whole, not only really for Catholics, for all Christians who call upon the name of Jesus, that they may one day be one. Let's pray for Hindus, Muslims, or Jews, people in other religions, that they may open their eyes to see the Lord and accept Him as the only Savior. Let's pray for peace in the world. The fear of war, you know, from the news. All are getting ready for a nuclear war, uh, restricted for the whole earth. Let's pray that no world leader may ever think of a war or a nuclear war. Let's pray for our personal needs, maybe for our inner healing, for physical healing, or maybe for a Touch of the Lord to set your heart on fire with a passionate love for Jesus and the church. Lord, look on people praying now for various news. Along with this, my good holy priest, I bring their prayers and place them in the pattern and challenge with the bread and wine. When you change some miraculous into your body and blood, do miracles in the life of these my children. God the Father, hear our prayer. Hear us, God the Son. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people, Lord. God the Father, hear our prayer. Hear us, God the Son. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people, Lord. Let's continue offering ourselves.
Acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of the world to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our past so has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with an angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as the update. by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At 
the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took blood and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His Lord. His supper was ended. He took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave, to the, gave it to the disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shambhara-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Holding hands, let's be united as God's children. In one spirit, loving each other, in spirit, joining our heart and hands with all the Christians all over the world. Let's call God Father. <laughs> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you shut your apostles and as peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and the healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and blood of Christ bring us to life. Our last thing.
hear our prayer. We are your children, and we've gathered here today. We've gathered here to pray. Hear our cry, Lord. We need your mercy. We need your grace today. Hear us as we pray.
of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Dear brothers and sisters, it is our obligation to pray for our priests. So let us look into the screens and read the prayer and pray for each and every priest who has helped us celebrate Mass today.
Stretch our right hands towards them and will us pray for them. Let's read. Oh Jesus.
upon the altar, the King of Kings and the Lord of Kings. Thank you for all the blessings you have received for the time you are conceived in your mother's womb. Personally, say, thank you, Jesus, for my father, my mother. Thank you, Jesus, for my grandparents on both sides. Thank you for my ancestors. Thank you for the family where I was born and brought up. Thank you for my brothers, my sisters. Thank you for my family situation. Thank you for my early childhood. Thank you for my young age. Thank you for my school time and later the time of university. Thank you for my professors, teachers, my companions. Thank you for all that I have learned in the school or in the college, in the university. Thank you, Lord. I'm married. Thank you for my life partner. Lord, I'm a priest. Thank you for my priesthood. Lord, I'm a religious sister. Thank you for my religious life. Lord, thank you for my married life, my children, my grandchildren. Thank you for all the blessings you have given in my family life both spiritual, material, and physical. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Christian. Thank you for the baptism and the sacraments I have received. Just now, thank you for your mighty presence. Thank you for having called me to this retreat to experience your life. Thank you for Father Soji and the team whom you use to call me, call us to your presence. Thank you, Lord for all those who are helping me to be here and to do great things for my life. Thank you for everything, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for all the people from whom I received any favor. My companions, colleagues, people under whom I work, people for whom I work, and all my friends, my neighbors, all in my prayer group, my charismatic prayer group. I thank you for all of them. Thank you for my parish priest. I thank you for my parish nurse. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything. Thank you for the village where I was born. Thank you for Britain that accepted my immigration. Thank you, Lord, allow me to live in this country. Thank you for all the blessings you have given my job, my work, my money, wealth, everything, Lord. I believe you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the blessings I have received through many, many people, Lord, officials, and people who work about me. Thank you for all of them, Lord. Thank you for the government here. Thank you for all the governments, all the ministers, all the presidents, the parliamentarians. Thank you for the many, many blessings, innumerable blessings you have poured on me through many people in the past. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. For a moment, put in the heart and the chest. A charm in any unforgiveness towards anyone. The Lord is giving a chance to forgive and reconcile once and for all. To bury the past. We need to forgive completely. We must reconcile with those who are alive and those who passed away. First, reconcile with your father. Bring your father before you in spirit and truth. Go near to him. Perhaps you never asked him pardon. Say, Papa, ask him pardon. Father, forgive me. Many times I wounded your heart. I disobeyed you. I was arrogant. And in your old age, I did not care to help you. I could have helped. Sorry, I could not be even beside you at your death. Pardon me. Listen to Father, speaking in your heart. My son, my daughter, I must have a good father. When you are conceived as a child, I know you are carrying that rejection even now. When I was expecting a girl, you boy was born. When I expected a boy, you girl was born. Hence, I could not love you as you are. I could not accept you as you are. Sorry. I gave you bad examples of alcoholism, smoking, even drugs. I was not believing in God, not receiving sacraments. I'm sorry, I did not take you to church, I did not speak to you about Jesus. 
I was not a good father. I beat you up. Yes, I will discriminate to you among other children. I'm sure you felt that I loved others more than you. Forgive me. I was not a good father. Come here to me and say that you forgive me. If only you forgive me and reconcile, I can be with my father in heaven. Forgive me. I'm your father. I'm your father. I'm sure you're very much wounded when I divorced your mother. Forgive. Forgive. In spirit and truth, go near to your papa, your father, and say, Father, I forgive you. I love you. And give a hug. And make sure that you love your father. If he's alive, you should do it. After this retreat, by meeting him or calling him. And if he dead, find out the way how to love him. Pray more for him. Perhaps offering a mass for him or many masses. Or doing some mortification or fasting. Or helping some people on his behalf. Love your father. Do the same with your own father, mother. Perhaps you never ask pardon your mama. Mama, forgive me. I'm your child. Many times I was arrogant, disobedient, and I was aggressive with your mama. You advised me for many good things, but I never obeyed. Sorry. I got job, work, I got married. I forgot you, mama. Sorry I could not be near you to help you, to assist you, serve you. Mama, forgive me. Listen to your mama. My son, my daughter, I forgive you. I am your mother. I cannot give any anger to you. But I ask you, Father, I was not a good mother. When you were in my womb, several times I thought of aborting you, even attempted. Forgive me. I didn't like you when you were born. Your color was not good. You were not looking handsome, not beautiful. And I was expecting a boy, then you girl was born. I'm sure you felt that. That I was loving the boys more than you. Forgive me. In your childhood, I was punishing you much. I belittled you, ridiculed you. Sorry. I did not give an example of Christian life by praying with you, taking you to church. I was always fighting with your father. I'm sure you were very much wounded. I was shouting at your father. You are very much wounded. Forgive me. I did not give an exemplary life to you of prayer, or penance, or faith. Forgive me. I'm, I was not a good father. Even I showed you bad example in my life. At smoking or alcohol. Forgive me. Even my criticizing others, speaking bad about others, bad words, all this you imitated. And forgive me. I am your mother. I consumed you in my womb. I carried you nine months with pain. And with much pain, but thanks, I gave you birth. Forgive me, my son. Forgive me, my daughter. Go near to your papa, mama, and say, Mama, I forgive you. I love you. Give a hug. Say to me, love your mother. Love your mother. If it's no more, Find the way she means to love her. Those who are married, do the same with your father-in-law and mother-in-law. If she or he offended you, forgive unconditionally. If you are offended, in spirit and truth, go near and ask pardon and say, I love you. Do the same with your brothers or sisters who offended you, or whom you offended. Forgive, pardon, and reconcile. Or with anyone in the family, maybe uncle, aunt, or cousins, or maybe with your own children, to feel anger. Forgive, love. If you're married, are you angry with your life partner? My dear husbands, forgive your wives. 
keep no anger, any negative feeling towards your wife, whatever, whatever negative she had done to you. Forgive, even if she was unfaithful to you, forgive. But I should not care very much. Do not show affection as you expected. Forgive your husband, forgive your wife. And if your wife is sitting near, hold her hand. And if you really forgive your wife, whisper into the ear of your wife, darling, I forgive you. And give a kiss. Let it be real from the heart, not because I'll tell you. May that kiss forgive and forget the past. My dear wives, forgive your husbands. But as she was cruel, you did not attend to your cares. But as she was unfaithful, you were alcoholic. But as she was not responsible, you are rule with you. Forgive your husband. From all eternity, God gave your husband as your gift, as a gift. <coughs> Forgive all the offenses she has done. If your husband is near, whisper in the ear, darling, I forgive you and give a kiss. Uh, let be a real kiss from the heart, forgiving and forgetting the past. Look in your heart, any anger, negative feeling towards anyone in your family or the family of your spouse, forgive. And sisters and priests, look in your heart, any anger towards any other priest or nuns in the community, in your fellowship, any anger towards people whom you serve, forgive, reconcile. Any negative anger, feeling or anger, aggressiveness towards anyone who worked with you, maybe in the office, they discriminate to you, belittle you, forgive. Perhaps you're angry with an official, a lawyer, a judge, forgive. Perhaps you have some anger towards some politicians or presidents, ministers, forgive. Keep no anger in your heart to anyone, you are a Christian. You are following Jesus who forgave Paul. Even today or yesterday, he forgave your sin. Don't give any anger towards anyone. Any negative feeling towards anyone. Maybe the one who spoke ill about you. Defamed you. Spread calumny about you. Forgive. Forgive. Laugh. That's what Jesus asks from you now. Any anger towards anyone who passed away or who is far away in another country, in spirit and truth, ask pardon to concern. Are you angry with any group of people? Are you angry with the British? Are you angry with the Europeans or Indians or Africans? Any discrimination or discriminatory feeling and anger towards any group of people, culture, forgive. Laugh. Any anger towards Muslims or Hindus or Buddhists, people of other religion. Maybe you feel anger towards the terrorists. Forgive. Forgive. The Lord says, forgive your enemy. Pray for them. Pray for those who persecute you. Do it, my children, now. So that you may be the children of the Heavenly Father. Give no anger towards anyone. When you feel anger towards the old boyfriend or girlfriend who cheated you, who defrauded you, forgive. The time of healing. Forgiveness brings healing. Lord Jesus, help each one here to forgive others. You are hard to love. I see some people having even anger towards some priests, or one or two having anger towards bishops. And I see some children finding hard to forgive their parents. Give grace to forgive God. Give grace to all the husbands to forgive fully the wives. Also, vice versa. Give grace to all the wives to be holy wives, to be holy husbands. My Jesus. 
I bring everyone here to your second heart. Right now, be great to forgive and love. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated. If you have a bag or baggage in your hands, put them down. Keep your hands free. Keep them open on your laps. <coughs> Ask the Lord in spirit to come to your interiority. Ask yourself, how old are you? Make it count down. As you go down, See the wounds of negative that happen in your life. But as you are 80, go down to 70. But as you are 70, go down to 60. From 60 to 50. But as you are 50, come down to 40. See all the negatives that happen from which you want the liberation of healing. But as you are 40, come down to 30. But as many, many things happen between those years, from 30 to 20. But as a time, you are rejected much, wounded much. From 20 to 15, the time you finish your school, when you university, College, failures, discriminations, searching for a job, not getting a job, disappointment, so many things might have happened from 15 to 10. 10 to 5, the time in the school. Maybe fears, sadness, inferiority complex, etc. happened there. from five to your day of birth, childhood, with your parents, that is still such a goal. But as father was so cruel, alcoholic, beating you, never expressed love, forgive. And perhaps those wounds are there still. Perhaps Papa died when you were small, Mama died. Papa married again, Mama married again. Many, many things happened. Ask the Lord to heal those wounds. From the day of your birth, go back to the womb. Time of conception. <coughs> which you don't, you don't know. And I ask the Lord to heal you from that time. My children, I join with you to pray with you. Pray with me. Identify your problems. <coughs> And with a claiming faith, <coughs> accepting, receiving your healing. Lord, thank you and praise you for my time of my conception. <coughs> but Lord, you know, many, things, many negatives happened at the time of my conception. You breathed your spirit and created me, but the clay that you took from my parents were having so many negatives, the fears, anxieties, or feelings of rejection, complexes. All this came to my being through their breath. Holy Spirit, Lord, breathe on me at the time of my conception and recreate me. Perhaps I was not conceived in grace because my parents were not married. They were in sin, mortal sin, while I was conceived. Perhaps it was by a rape, a forced to sex, I was conceived. You know it, Lord. Right now, Breathe your spirit and recreate me. Breathe your spirit and sanctify the time. First the moment of my life. First moment. The very time of conception when the sperm 
our joint right now. Breathe at that time, Lord. Sanctify that moment. Sanctify that moment. Remove all the negative that came to the breath of my papa and mama. Put up their bad character, aggressiveness, pride, selfishness, egoism, or laziness. If anything came to them, that Holy Spirit, breathe and liberate me. But as to their blood, several bad habits of my grandparents and great grandparents came to me. Maybe the habit of smoking, habit of alcohol, or maybe keeping that anger, the habit of unforgiveness. Lord Jesus, right now, come to me at the time of my conception. Breathe your spirit and heal me. And heal me and liberate me. But I've inherited some physical illness. Maybe my diabetic problem, my cancer, my tumor, or any illness, maybe my skin disease, or the problem in the blood, diabetic problem. Anything came to the blood of my papa and mama. Come the first moment, breathe your spirit, and heal, heal, liberate, sanctify the first moment. I believe that you are healing me now, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, come to time. I was in my mother's womb. Perhaps at the conception, Papa and Mama rejected me. They didn't want a child. I was an unexpected child. But in your divine providence, you created me, you wanted me. Lord, right now, breathe your spirit and take away that feelings of unwantedness from me. Right now, heal me. Heal me, Lord. I forgive my father and mother. But I said, Mother's womb, Mama rejected me much. You were beating the stomach to abort me, or taking some herbs or medicines to abort me. Lord Jesus, or even she, she wished, wished to abort me. Right now, breathe your spirit and heal me. I forgive my mama. Perhaps when I was in my mother's womb, Papa and Mama were fighting each other. Even Papa suspected Mama of the child and beating each other. And perhaps Papa left home. And it all affected my being. Holy Spirit, breathe and heal me. Breathe your spirit, sanctify the time I was in my marriage womb. But at that time, mother was sad, depressed, because of the death of the husband, or the death of the mother or father, or brother or sister. That's why I'm always depressed. I cannot smile. Holy Spirit, Lord, breathe on my inner self and heal me from that depression, sadness. Give me a new self of joy. Thank you, you are healing me, God. For us, Mama was taking strong drugs during the pregnancy. That affected me negatively. Lord Jesus, heal me from that. For us, Papa, Mama was fighting. There's no peace. Lord Jesus, right now, take away that peacelessness from my being. Breathe your spirit and heal me. For us, Mama was having a lot of bad rest while I was in her womb. She was afraid of the childbirth. I'm the first child. Afraid of bleeding, afraid of childbirth. Right now, I have that fear. Heal me, Lord, from that. Breathe your spirit and heal me while I was in mother's womb. Take away all the fears, anxieties, nervousness, or any negative that happened in my mother's womb. You know, Lord. Nobody knows. No doctors can diagnose that. Only you who created me in your life can know that. My Jesus, I pray with you to breathe your spirit and recreate me in my mother's womb. Thank you, dear. You are doing it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Lord, I was born premature. I was kept in the incubator. I'm still suffering that in my being. I have no feeling of love. I cannot accept love. I cannot give love. I feel hard-heartedness. Breathe and heal my that hard-heartedness. Holy Spirit, Lord, give a heart that is loving. Yes, I was not touched because I was in the incubator, the machine. Now also I feel sometimes I'm a machine. I am an incubator. My Jesus, make my heart soft. Right now, breathe your spirit, soften my heart to love, to accept love. Thank you, you are doing it now. Lord, I had a natural birth, but there was Maha nobody. There was no midwife, nobody to care. Mama was in much suffering, bleeding, that affected me for us. 
I was born with a cesarean. Mama was scared of an operation. I had a scare. Right now, breathe your spirit and take away the scare of blood and operation, etc. Heal me at the time of my birth, Lord Jesus. But as the rough touch of the doctor or nurse or midwife caused a negative feeling on my body, right now, heal me, Lord. Maybe I was pulled out from the mother's womb. I feel that negative feeling in me when somebody touches me. But as when I was born immediately, Father made a comment, Oh, again, you brought forth, oh, my girl. It was rejected at the very first moment. But as Mama looked at me and said immediately to her heart, My God, not a boy. I felt that. From the beginning I feel that I'm rejected because I'm a girl, I'm a woman. But you created me a woman. Breathe your spirit, sanctify me, take away the mistake that happened at my birth. Heal that wound. Holy Spirit, you are new birth now. I know you are doing it. Thank you. They give me that feeling, that inferiority complex that I am a woman. I'm finding difficult sometimes. Jealous of men. Oh, Mary, Mama, good mother, pray for me that I may accept my femininity and thank God that I am a woman. So Jesus, perhaps, when my Papa and Mama looked at me, so a boy, already there were two or three boys, one a girl, Disappointed. Right like now, Jesus, come and heal me. Heal me. Always I feel Mama Papa would have loved me if I were a girl. I have not accepted my masculinity. Maybe that's a problem of my masturbation or tendency of a homosexuality, etc. Holy Spirit, God, breathe on me and heal me, sanctify the moment of my birth. Help me to accept my masculinity. St. Joseph, pray for me, that I may be proud of my masculinity. Thank you for my masculinity. Thank you, you are healing me, Lord. I have some behaviors in me, which is effeminate. Maybe its origin is there. Some people say that I talk like a woman. I behave like a emotion like a woman. But as all this happened at the time of birth, because I was not accepted as I am. Some people say, I'm not like a woman. I speak like a man, I behave like a man. Even my husband says that. Right now, I find the root cause. I was not accepted as a girl. My Jesus, right now, breathe on me and heal me. Heal me, heal me, bless my masculinity, bless my femininity. Thank you, you are giving me Lord. In my childhood, Lord, I had a lot of sufferings. Mama was sick, bedridden, could not even give the breast milk. Oh, that was a fashion, not giving the breast milk. God, I forgive my mama. I lacked love for my mama. Uh, mama had many children, many responsibilities. Mama had many suffering because Papa was an alcoholic, irresponsible. <coughs> mama could not give that. As a child, I could not understand my mother. I thought, well, Mama is not spending time with me. Mama is not keeping in the lap and not giving pampering. Jesus, now I understand. I felt rejected that time. Breathe your spirit and heal me from the lack of love I had from my mama. I hardly remember Papa hugging me, putting on the lap, putting on the shoulder. He could not, he was alcoholic. He was cruel. He has beaten me several times as a child, always punishing me, rejecting me. All those wounds are there. I was not good, I was not looking good. All the calling bad names, negative names. I felt wounded right now. Heal me, Lord. Even my own mama said, you are good for nothing. Papa said, you are good for nothing. My brothers and sisters said, you are good for nothing. You are a chuckle-headed woman, chuckle-headed boy, useless boy. All those times I felt inferiority complex. I thought my brothers are better than me. My sisters are better than me. And when I was sent to the school, from kindergarten onwards, I felt rejection. I could not study like my brothers and sisters. I felt wounded, rejected, alienated. I felt lonely. You know, Lord, times when I went to the corner of the house and cried. Holy Spirit, Lord, right now, breathe on me. Heal all those wounds. I realized my inferiority complex. I was not good in singing or dancing. I was not good in sports or games. And it's so foolish. 
looking at me, they said, oh, this boy is good for nothing. <coughs> He's so fat, so weak, but useless. All those words hurt me, gosh. Right now, breathe on me, heal me from all those hurt feelings. Right now, because of that, I have buried many of my talents. Yes, Lord. Breathe your spirit on the clay that I am. So that all the hidden talents may, hidden gifts may be manifested. Heal me with your blood. Heal me with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, breathe on me and make me a new being. Help me to forget that young days, school days, where the teachers beating me, punishing me, discriminating me, never giving a word of encouragement, never a positive talk. Wounds are there, Lord. Also, my companions kept me away from their companionship, fellowship. I felt wounded, lonely, sad. Heal me, Lord. I was not able to get good marks, good grade in the school. When others were getting first and second, I was nothing, I was the lowest. I felt inferiority complex. My Jesus, breathe your spirit and heal me from such complexes. That's why now, what which I think I'm good for nothing. I'm a useless guy. Holy Spirit, breathe on me, heal me. I felt rejected, my papa died. Mama died when I was small. I was crying, crying, near the dead body, I still remember. My baby, my died of tears. My own brother died, my own sister died, my twin sister died. I felt so sad. That sadness is still in me, Lord. Right now, breathe your spirit and heal that inner, inner soul from that depression, sadness. And so many deaths in my family. Young people even died. Oh Lord Jesus, I collected that sadness in the heart. I suppressed them. Holy Spirit, breathe on me. Wipe away those dried up tears. Give me joy of the heart. Give me the joy of the heart. Thank you, Lord, doing it, Lord. I have many wounds in my childhood, Lord. My own papa abused me sexually. My own brother misused me. I forgive, I forgive. But the hurt feeling is there. Even the feeling of guilt, I feel always unworthy, I'm good for nothing. I lost my virginity, I feel always. I lost my chastity, I feel. Right now, Holy Spirit, breathe on me and heal me. Heal me, Lord. From that time, I am negative towards the opposite sex. But that's a reason. I have no joy in my married life. I have no joy in having my wife with me, although I do everything out of duty. Sometimes I feel, no love towards my wife, no love towards my husband. Now I know the root cause. My Jesus, heal me as I was rejected, unloved at the time I was young. Thank you, Lord, you are doing it. I claim the healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the love you are pouring into my heart now. Jesus, Jesus, I failed in my examinations, in the test, in the school, in the university, in the college. I was sad, wounded. Everybody said, fool you are. Useless you are. Again, inferiority complex and wounds. I thought my life would be a failure. Even now, I have a fear of failure. Holy Spirit, breathe on me. Remove that fear from me. In my family, there was suicide. My papa committed suicide. My brother committed suicide. My uncle committed suicide. Always had fear of suicide. You know, Lord, when I attempted for suicide, thank you, you have forgiven me. Right now, heal me, liberate me from the tendency to commit suicide. Often I feel life fed up, I life burden. Holy Spirit, breathe on me. Help me to appreciate my life, to love my life. Jesus, thank you, you are doing it, Lord. Thank you for breathing on me and healing me and giving me new life, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Many kinds of fears crept into my being, fear of death, because I saw many dead bodies at my home, death of many in my family, so that the fear of death, and guilt because of my sexual sins in the past. You know that I fell in love with a boy when I was in the college, in the university. I fell in love with a girl. We were together. We had the hope of getting married, but he betrayed me. She betrayed me. That feeling of betrayal is in my heart now. Always I think my wife is betraying me. I suspect her. And also I suspect my husband, even when he talks to somebody. 
right now, breathe on me, remove all the suspicion, enable me to love my husband, my love, my wife. Holy Spirit, Lord. Holy Spirit, Lord. Take me that feeling so bitter for me. Heal me, liberate me. Thank you, you are doing it, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm sorry, I had premarital sex. I committed even abortion before my marriage. I never confessed before my wedding. Nobody told me to do that. And now I have done it, Lord. Heal me from the feelings of guilt. And run. give me back the grace I lost. Holy Spirit, breathe on me. And give me the grace which I lost in my marriage, in matrimony. Thank you, you are doing it, Lord. Sanctify my married life. Be such when I was young, with the friends, I was going and smoking, taking alcohol. Slowly, slowly, I got addicted. I learned to commit masturbation. I saw it in the book, reading the magazines, or in the screen, in the film. I started doing it, Lord. I'm addicted now. Although I'm married, I feel ashamed, Lord Jesus, to tell you. I commit masturbation, even my wife does not know. But you know it, Lord. I confess today. Lord Jesus, liberate me from the bad habit. Breathe on me. Sanctify me. Take away all forms of immorality. In my office, when it's time, I spend time on computer to watch pornography. I know my children are bad because of me. My children doesn't obey, do not obey. And they are also going with the handy, with the mobile, with the reason that for immoral things. I know I have the reason. But I haven't secretly, you have seen it, Lord. I feel sad. I have that feeling of guilt. Holy Spirit, sanctify me. Breathe on me, make me a new person. I don't want pornography anymore. I don't want to masturbate. I want to glorify you in my body. Thank you, Lord. I am your temple. Yes, you dwell in me. Sanctify each part of my body now. Wash away the guilt of the sin. Wash away, wash away the guilt of sin. Thank you, you are doing it. Thank you, Lord. Many times I've hit my sin in confessions. Only in this retreat I was able to make a good confession for faith forgiveness. But now I feel guilty, I should not, I did not do it. Even I had unworthy communion. My Jesus, out of your mercy, forgive me. Oh, God, oh. Breathe on me, your spirit. Sanctify me and take away all such past guilt. Today I decide to be holy, to live according to your holy will. Wipe away my tears, wipe away my tears. Take away my feelings of unworthiness and liberate me from a fierce and inferiority complex. Heal me from the feelings of rejection that nobody loves me, nobody wants me. Jesus, give me the love of the Father. Love of your mother. Right now, you love, Holy Spirit. You are love. Breathe and fill me with the love. Thank you. Thank you, God. Many wounds I had in my married life. From my own husband, my own life partner, my own wife. I had many problems. Did not respect me. Did not love me enough. Sometimes belittled me. Several times said I should have married somebody else. I felt sad. My life partner betrayed me. I saw with my own eyes having a relation with another person. I forgave, I forgave. Right now, take away that memory from me. Holy Spirit, breathe on that memory. Heal my memory. I'm carrying unnecessary burden. Holy Spirit, liberate me. Liberate me. Liberate me from all that hold me against love. Thank you, you are doing it now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I have many bad habits, speaking bad about others, criticizing others. Now I'm always a pessimist. Holy Spirit, breathe on me and heal me from all my pessimism. I criticize even poor. My Jesus, right now, breathe your spirit. Remove that critical mind from me. Open my inner soul to see good in others, appreciate others, and encourage them and love them. Jesus, Lord. Take away critical mind from me. Heal me from pessimism. Thank you, you are doing it now. Thank you, Jesus. I have the, I have the habit of hiding, lying. I cheated others. I confessed all that. But I had a habit. I lied to my wife. I lied to my husband. I lied to even children. Jesus, I know 
When I lie, I belong to Satan. He's a liar and father of lies. I don't want to be any more with the Satan. Holy Spirit, breathe on me, liberate me from the habit of lying, cheating, defrauding. Make me honest. Holy Spirit, come. Fill me with that honesty, sincerity of heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making me honest. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord, I have many abortions. I make confessions and you forgive me, but I feel the guilt of my abortions. But I'm, thank you, Lord, I baptized the unborn child. I'm an unborn baby, forgive me. I have many miscarriages. I feel sad about it. I married, I had no children. I have many of us. I feel sad. Sometimes I feel I'm cursed. Jesus doesn't love me. Right now, heal me from that thought. Sanctify me, Holy Spirit, sanctify me. They can be all such a negative feelings towards God, towards religion, towards church. Holy Spirit, breathe on me, make me a new person. New person. Sometimes I feel hopeless. Sometimes I feel helplessness. Lord Jesus, breathe on me and take away the helplessness from me. You are there, Holy Spirit. You are power, you are strength. In my weakness, you strengthen me, Lord. Sorry for the times I said I'm weak, I'm weak. Now I know I'm not weak. Holy Spirit, breathe on me, make me a strong person, a strong woman, a strong man, a strong husband, a strong wife, a strong religious sister, a strong priest. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, breathe on me. Sanctify me. Sanctify me. Sanctify me. Take away the guilt of my sins. Sadness of what happened in the past, Lord Jesus. I'm a doctor. I'm a nurse. I feel guilt about an accident. Carelessly, I gave medicine, injection. And the patient died. I still feel that fear, guilt, sadness. Jesus healed me from that. Lord, I'm scared of dead bodies. I'm scared of burial, funerals. Lord Jesus healed me from that, Lord Jesus. I'm scared of certain people, Lord. Big people, fat people, dark people, people of other religion. Holy Spirit, breathe on me. Right now, heal me and take away the feelings that keep me away from others. Break all the barriers from me. Liberate me, liberate me. Jesus, sorry. When I was desperate and helpless, I went to a shelter. And new age practices like yoga, right here. I keep going there, I keep pressure. So many things which are forbidden for a Christian, which are incompatible with the Christianity. I'm sorry, I confess. But I feel the bondage in me, Lord. Right now, breathe your spirit and heal me and liberate me, Lord Jesus. Help me to be an authentic Catholic Christian. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Jesus. Even I have gone to Satanism, Freemasonry for some time. I want to experiment with the Satanism law. And I have done many things like that when I was in school, in the college. I don't know maybe the reason. I feel confused. I feel no love for others. I feel no love for God. I can't pray. I feel depressed. I feel sad. Maybe the evil spirit is covering me. Right now, my Jesus, breathe your spirit and liberate me fully. Thank you, you are doing it. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lamba la la la. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Lord, I am a widow. Heal me, Lord. Heal my loneliness, my sadness, Lord. Jesus, Lord. I am a priest. Heal me as a priest. Many wounds from the superiors. Many wounds from the other priests. Heal my wounds, Lord. I'm a religious sister. Many wounds I got from the time of my personality and novitiate. Heal all those wounds, Lord. I have forgiven all. Sanctify me. Holy Spirit, breathe on me and sanctify me. Make me a new child of God. A new person. Sanctify me, Lord. Holy Spirit. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for this moment. Keep the heart on the chest. Believe and feel I believe and claim that in a healing new life. Anyone still not feeling liberated, I pray with authority given to me in my priesthood. Lord Jesus, right now I join my prayers with the praise of all the priests here. And all priests in the world and priests in heaven. I spend with authority to bind and loose. I join my prayers with the praise of all the saints and martyrs, including Mary, my mama. Lord Jesus, if there is yours, anyone not liberated from Fear, sadness, depression, loneliness, or inferiority, complex feelings of rejection or guilt, 
I take authority over all those inner wounds and inner emotions. Right now, Jesus, I liberate this, my children. My children, I liberate you from all the negatives that are in the store of your evil. I liberate you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, look upon people. If there is anyone with the compulsive habits, no, bad habits like maybe drugs or smoke or alcohol or any immorality, right now, Jesus, I use my authority to break those curses, break those bad habits. Right now, use spirit of evil, depart. Spirit of sin, depart. Spirit of alcoholism, depart. Spirit of masturbation, depart. Spirit of immorality, depart. Your spirit of smoking, depart. Your spirit of critical uh, attitude, depart. Your spirit of any kinds of sin, your spirit of unforgiveness, hatred, depart. There are no place here. These people belong to Jesus the Lord. These are Jesus people. No place. Your spirit of darkness, depart. Your spirit of came to any Hinduism, Buddhism, or any other religions, depart. But they were praying, their prayers, mantras, or tantras, maybe they had been their pujas. Lord Jesus, but they were uh, singing the songs of the Hindus. If any evil came to them right now, right now liberate them. If they had been to any esoteric or new age or any centuries of Freemasons, right now, break the bondage, liberate the spirit. My Jesus, we adore you to bless and liberate and to heal. Right now, I heal you from all the bondages. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, look upon these people, Lord. They have sinned in the past. If they are carrying any, any curse of the past sins, I pray that you break the curses. They have decided for a new life. They have decided for a life of parents. Right now, break all the curses that are on them through their sins. If they are carrying the curses of the sins of their parents, Grandparents and sisters, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the power of the blood of Jesus, in the power of the blessed sacrament, in the power of the church, in the power of the blood of martyrs, I break all the curses that are on anyone here, my children, in the name of Jesus, I break all the curses in the power of the church, in the powers of prayers of the martyrs and saints, I break all the curses that are on you and liberate you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Go back to your old style of life. 
you will follow me. I mean, I see you are so shining, You're so shining like stars. The Lord says you are the light of the world. I see grace flowing. I see love, peace, joy flowing. Believe, pray, feel from fear, sadness, inferiority, complex, etc. The time I see some of you are the love of Jesus, giving the love of a brother or a father. I see some of you in the love of Mary, Mama, giving the love of a mother or a sister. I see love flowing. I see your patron saints praying for you. Yes, the door of heaven is open. Bright light, grace covering you. The Lord says, the old is gone, new is come. You are my beloved child. The Lord is keeping you close to his heart, giving you love. I see so many people at this moment getting even physical healing. As time is over, I'm not going to prolong the prayer. I see people right now liberated from their day, back pain, pain in the body, even two people with the cancer or tumor in the healing. And I see people with the throat problems getting healed. People with the arthritic, rheumatic problems getting healed. Just say thank you and praise you and pursue that. Yes, she has stomach problems, gas problems, the Lord healing. I see people healing from indigestion. I see people healed in the heart. Someone with a big heart problem, I see the Lord's power flowing to her and healing. I see someone with a liver problem, two people getting healed. I see people with kidney problems and urinal problems getting healed. I see a couple. I know children for many years, the Lord blessing with the children. And I see someone with one child alone asking for more children. The Lord is blessing them with the children. Healing their sexuality, blessing their sexuality. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord. I see so many people healed from uh, the pain, different kinds of pain, pain on the knee, pain on the feet, and arthritic pain, so the Lord is healing. Believe and take that. Anna, Annama, you are healed. Savita, you are healed. Doreen, you are healed. Dominic, you are healed. No doubt. Manisha, you are healed and blessed. Thank God. Elias, you are healed. Paul, you are healed. Raphael, Raphael, you are healed. Thank God. Praise God. I see so many people with the names Mary or Maria. I see God's healing. I see people with the name Josh, Joseph getting healing. Bina, Binci, and I see Biju getting healing. Thank God. People, several people with the name of George also getting healing. Thank God, there is some, you are healed. Praise God, thank God. Grace is flowing right now. Do not doubt, claim your healing and say, I see CG, BG, like that, so many names. Uh, right now, thank God, thank God. Praise God for the grace flowing. Hallelujah, mighty Lord. I see two people with the name David getting grace and healing. Great healing, inner healing, new life. Thank God. Uh, Anu, you are healed. Anita, you are healed. Anet, you are healed. Grace flowing, do not doubt. Yes, sir, thank you, Jesus. Georgie, you are healed. Stefan, Stephen, you are healed. Simon, you are healed. Thank God and praise God. A moment of grace, moment of grace. Martin, you are healed. Martin, grace flowing through you. The Lord is making a new child to proclaim this gospel. Praise God. Hallelujah. Matthew, you are healed. I see two, three people with the name John getting healing. Maybe John or Johnny or Jean or Gino, etc. Right now, thank God, praise God, hallelujah, the beautiful name, Pangama, getting grace and healing, praise God, thank God for this moment, Therese Yama, Therese Yama, getting healing, Jesus, thank you for grace flowing, and in Sonia, grace flowing, thank God, Sunny, grace flowing to you, do not doubt, Felsi, you are healed, grace flowing, Francis, you are healed, grace flowing, the Lord has made you a new being, do not doubt, noble, grace flowing, be my witness, the Lord says, thank God and praise God. Hallelujah. Grace and my mighty love flowing through so many people. Thank God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, everyone, to be healed right now. Let your grace flow and heal. That miracle happened right now. Rudolph, Rudy, you're healed last evening. Why you doubt? 
thank God and praise God. Lord, thou the Lord. Hallelujah. Mary, you are healed. Philip, you are healed. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Mary, you are healed. Praise God. Love God. Draw your heart. Draw your soul. Thank you, Dori. You are healed. Nina, you are healed. And Navet, you are healed. I see grace flowing to Nevia. Grace flowing. Molly, you are healed. Molama, you are healed. Grace touching you, liberating you. Jesus, Jesus, thank you for the many blessings for him right now to several people, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lambalalalalala, bandalalalalala, bandalalalala, lambalalalala, lambalalalala, lambala. Thank you for the blessing, thank you for the healing, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I see Stephanie getting healing. Praise God. Melanie getting healing. Melissa getting healing. Alice getting healing. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Gigi, you are healed. You know, that Gino, you are healed. Praise God. Thank God. Hallelujah. They should be the special Lord. Hallelujah. Lambara, the 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 Thank Jesus, praise Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Putting your heart in the chest. In silence, listen to him. But as he is telling you, we have got a message, you are healed, you are blessed. But he is telling Herbert, you are blessed, you are healed. Or he's telling Robert, you are healed. You can listen in your heart what the Lord says. Kochurani, you are healed. Or Helena, you are healed. You can listen. And believe what he says in your heart. Or oh, Nancy, you are healed. Neo, you are healed. You can hear that word. Or oh, perhaps he's calling you with affection, your name. Perhaps you can feel that you are in his hand, in his lap. Perhaps you feel that you are no more pain, no more sickness. You feel that your throat is healed, stomach is healed, skin is healed, no more diabetic problem. Believe. Or oh, you are. Head is healed from the problem that you have, maybe a psychological problem, maybe Alzheimer, losing memory. The Lord is healing you completely. Praise and thank the Lord. And give yourself completely to Him. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Kneeling down. Give yourself to Him as new people. Stretching your hands on Jesus. What a blessing that you may persevere in this healing, grow in this new life. Let's call on his name. Jesus.
Ananda Pansinga song. Praising Krishna be singing Hallelujah, singing Hallelujah, praising His name.
salt and water if you bring. I'll be blessing and giving. And also, uh, tomorrow, there is time if you have some photos of the people to be prayed over, I'll be praying for that. And uh, at the end, I'll sprinkle holy water, which is uh, exercised on all these articles. That all will be tomorrow, and just informing so that you may bring articles for blessing. Okay? And uh, if you are, again, I say, some love letters for me. That means your prayers, or petitions, some sharing. Uh, if you give your address, I'll be replying also. You can bring that envelope and place them in the box, which is here already. And uh, we will have that relationship later. Uh, and again, again, about consecration, which Gabi was mentioning, I'll speak more tomorrow about it, how you can do it. Some people came and asked me. I think that's all. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I, the prayer went a little long. Uh, and uh, this kind of prayer we did at least three hours uh, to complete fully. And uh, you are in a hurry, you are in England, no, no time. <laughs>